Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the One Class channel. Uh, my name is Fajiri Rome and I am Honors Bachelor of Science graduate working towards medical school. Uh, this evening we'll be going over some commonly asked questions, uh, both at the high school and college level, specifically in chemistry of course. And you know, if you need some homework help or tutoring, check out the links in the description below. Um, and with that, uh, we can start and kick it off with Question one. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. So we have, let's see. We have what is a molar mass of oxygen? Okay, so that will be our first question for tonight. All right, so let's see. Let's review what it means by the molar mass of oxygen. So this question may seem a bit too easy at first glance. Uh, first, let's find out what it means so you can get the molar mass. Um, it's usually the atomic mass units, specifically when it's talking about an element, oxygen in this case, you just refer to your periodic table, and typically is the atomic mass units, sorry, of the element, typically. But... In natural environments, oxygen never appears, well, rarely appears like this, okay? So, with that being said, though, this is not how it appears in the environment. It actually appears like this, okay? O2 is how oxygen will actually appear in the environment. That is oxygen uh, gas. Okay, and you can see in a lot of these gases here, like oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, and such, um, these elements would appear like in a double. It's so like you'll see nitrogen like that, fluorine like that as well. But for this one, we're focusing on oxygen. What does that mean? We follow the same rules of how we used to calculate uh, the molar mass of any molecule, really, where we use the numbers given to figure out how many multiples of that um, atomic mass we have. So we have, as it says here, 2 times O. That's the only element we're dealing with. So it would be 2 times 2 times 15. Yep, 2 times O, which is equal to 2 times 15.999 according to that. Okay. And now, with that being said, though, let's see. 15.999 times 2. Okay, we get 31.998 grams per mole. Okay, so this right here. And this should actually be the molar mass of oxygen for the first question. Now with that, let's see how we did here. Okay. So this one says the molar mass of an element is equal to its atomic mass. Thus, the molar mass of oxygen is the same as the atomic mass, so 15.999. So for this one, I would actually say this is incorrect because... Uh, when they ask for atomic mass, that is when you put it straight for the element. When they say the molar mass of oxygen, you have to assume that they're referring to its natural state. That is, um, I would say this is the trick to that question. Because had they specifically said the molar mass of O, okay, 
which is technically something they can do because that just be an element of oxygen by itself, we could t calculate that and it would be 15.999. But when they spell out oxygen, you have to assume that they mean its natural state of oxygen, which it comes in O2. That's how we refer to it as oxygen. Like the oxygen in our environment, that's O2. It's not um, O. So with that, um, they mean O2, not the element. Oops. <laughs> okay, solution. Oh, frick. Incorrect.